So let's get going. Some of this I think you talked about with Garrett on Friday, but uh, WWE roster cuts. They happen, yeah. main roster and NXT. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, we talked about some of them, but uh, Matt Riddle came after, was the main one that came after the last conversation I had with Garrett. And um, interesting cut. I mean, um, obviously it was the straw that broke the camel's back, was the thing coming back from India. And there's it's a lot of little things, and... Uh, they made the decision and uh, you know that was that so I mean the most interesting thing with really the most interesting thing now is is who goes where and what ones do ADW pick up and Matt Riddle being probably the most interesting one because there's reasons that you would say that you know I mean normally if you're going through wrestling history when somebody at that level is cut whether it was you know for for whatever reason when it's a top star from another company who's cut for you know by wwe or by another company and the other company whether it's you know wwe would take them i mean we've seen it with jeff hardy a hundred million times uh we saw it with kurt angle uh it, the the other company always takes the person so i don't know if that's going to happen here uh i do also know that uh riddle is riddle has got at least one major MMA promotion, if not more, that are interested in bringing him back to MMA. So it's going to be an interesting one. It's going to be interesting to see what he does, but um, I think it's going to be just interesting to see. I don't know. What do you think as far as if you're AEW, which ones? Do you, who do you pick up? Who do you not pick up? Well, I mean, if I'm AEW, I, I don't know if I'm picking up anybody because they have so many people under contract that... I don't think there's anybody there who you're going to bring in and it's going to be a game changer. I mean, there's so much talent already and there's so many people that, you know, we see and then we don't see them forever for various reasons. I mean, do you need a Dolph you know, Ziggler in AEW? Do you need you a Matt Riddle? I mean, is Matt there Riddle, anybody that they need right now? And to me, the answer is no. There's nobody there's, they need right now. There's nobody they need, but some of those guys could help. I think Mustafa Ali could help a lot. I think Matt Riddle... Matt Riddle potentially could, but but you're rolling the dice, no doubt about it. But if I look at it like uh, again with the Kurt Angle move, you know, or and and or Jeff Hardy, I mean, well, Jeff Hardy, I mean, you know, he ended up in in many companies. Well, well the Jeff difference Hardy, is Kurt Angle Jeff, came in and he actually was a game changer. He walked in and did sixty thousand buys twice. That's well, a game changer. I mean, it for, was, for, it was see, a bad for, decision because he was released because WWE was concerned he was going to die. And the and, fact that you bring a guy like that in immediately, I mean, it was a, it was a bad decision. But they well, brought but him it, in it, and it, he did draw in immediately. Hindsight, in, hindsight, in hindsight, was it a bad decision? Even with the DUIs and everything that Kurt had later, Kurt, Kurt did, did really help that company a lot. Yeah. So, I mean, you can't say it was a bad decision from a business standpoint. I mean, Kurt did, you know, Kurt continued to have issues, no doubt about it. Um, but Kurt was a lot worse off than Riddle. Um, I mean, Kurt was a bigger star for sure. Um, but Riddle, you know, Riddle has potential. I mean... Um, well, a lot of those he, guys have potential. Well... You, but they also have a ton of people on the roster that have potential that are underutilized true. right now. True, true. Um, I mean, I wouldn't bring a lot of them in, but um, I I could see I could see Ziggler being brought in. Um, the, the thing with Ziggler, though, I mean, to, have to change his name. I think his music is a big part of him. Although you can always give somebody new music and and all that. But I mean, he'd have to be Nick Nemeth. You know, he couldn't be Dolph Ziggler. And not that that's a big deal. Matt Riddle can go in there, walk in, and be Matt Riddle, and he can walk in and you know, I mean, be. I mean, it's 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 it is a roll of the dice. I mean, it, there's no doubt about it. But um, you know, if not, you know, I mean, there's always New Japan. The problem with New Japan is uh, the marijuana thing. But they were going to bring him in before. I mean, when I mean, he was he was Riddle and Jeff Cobb were supposed to go in for the tag team tournament in New Japan years ago, and New Japan pulled back on him because of the the you know pot. There's a big stigma on pot in in Japan and everything. And then they decided that uh, that was a bad decision, and they were going to bring him in again. And at that point, uh, the word got to WWE, 
and WWE made sure to sign him first because they didn't want him. This is when WWE and New Japan, New Japan was kind of WWE's big rival at the time. So they went and signed him, and, um, you know, he had a multi-year run there. But um, it's an interesting one, I think. I, I don't know. I mean, there's, I think I would take Ali. Uh, Ziggler, uh, he's a talented guy. You know, you can always use that. Riddle, I think, has got a lot of potential there. Um, I mean, I def definitely have to be a uh, zero tolerance on him. Um, but again, you know, historically, historically, when it comes to things like that, if it was the other way around, uh, would WWE take him? If somebody from uh, AEW that was very marketable uh, got fired for discipline reason, well, we'll find out. Well, we'll soon find out on we that will now, find won't we? Yeah. Okay, but the thing is, is that from a locker room disruptive situation that those are leagues apart you know riddle and, and punk i mean um and punk had you know there's a lot of people with bad feelings on punk and management in wwe there's nobody with bad feelings in management on matt riddle and AEW. so um it's going to be i mean and there's other guys too but um i think those are the three i mean but you know there's there's i don't know like Rick Boogs, Elias, I I wouldn't be surprised to see them get tryouts, but I don't. Elias, I don't see anything in. I mean, in the sense of um, there's just guys that are better in AEW that aren't getting work. Rick Boogs, Rick Boogs has charisma, but I think that uh, I think that he lost a lot of the charisma when uh, he came back. You know, with for a lot of different reasons. I think they didn't really push him right. By the way, you see what his, his him him basically saying, oh, you know, uh, Vince McMahon loved me, but God damn, you know. It's like, who, who I wonder I wonder who these guys, and, and you know, who say that Vince McMahon loved them, who they think actually made these decisions. Well, clearly it had to be Nick Khan. <laughs> you think Nick Khan made the decisions on which talent I don't to think cut? that he did, but I'm sure that that's who it must be. It's, it's... Vince loved them. <laughs> of course it must be Nick Khan. Yeah, right. Hey, if you love this clip, have I got a deal for you. WrestlingObserver.com. Do you have a commute? Do you work out at the gym? Do you like listening to audio on your headphones or your earbuds or whatever the kids use today? Well, WrestlingObserver.com will give you all the audio you'll ever need in your life. Over 15,000 audio shows. Every audio show that we have ever done, dating back to 2005, is available for subscribers at WrestlingObserver.com. Every time a new show comes out, you can podcast it directly to your phone. If you have a commute, as noted, if you go to the gym, if you like to lift weights and listen to Granny review soap operas, well, WrestlingObserver.com gets you full access to all of these shows and all of these archives. You can go back and listen to TNA reviews from 2010. You can go back and listen to reviews of every WWE pay-per-view, every big story that's ever happened in wrestling. You can get access to that at WrestlingObserver.com. Plus, full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter every week. 40,000 words of news and information in pro wrestling. Why get all your scoops off Reddit, which aren't even accurate most of the time? Go right to the source, the Wrestling Observer newsletter. You also get Observer archives dating back to 1990. So check it out today. Thousands of issues of the Wrestling Observer newsletter. Tens of thousands of hours of audio. All for $12.99 per month or as low as $9.99 if you sign up for a year. You'll never, you'll never run out of audio if you subscribe to WrestlingObserver.com. So head up there, check it out today, and I'll talk to you again after a while.